fellow YouTube. I've been having a dilemma the past several years. It's the dilemma of the belts that I buy breaking. And this is my newest one. This is a Massimo brand belt, which I got from uh, the local Target store. And I'll show you some of the ones that I had in the past. Here's my recent one, broken after a couple weeks. Here's the prior one to the recent one, broke again. And I'll show you where this is made. Mad made materials, probably made in China. Crap. Junk. Yeah, I went to the local Target store and I looked to see what kind of belts they had. Um, I had one in high school that my mom bought me for Christmas one year. That thing lasted, lasted me for many years. After a while, I drilled holes in it. I drilled extra holes in it. And that belt still stood up. And it finally just gave out. And it's been a never-ending battle since. i got to deal with all this imported crap. I mean, this one is imported from Guatemala, but um, it looks pretty tough. It looks pretty thick. And it doesn't have that leather veneer on both sides. And it doesn't have that center part, which connects the two veneers together. It doesn't have that. And this one looks pretty tough. I think this one will last now, hopefully. It's a jeans belt. It ain't no dress belt. But this crap, I mean, I'll set this new one down here. Yeah, they got these uh, veneers on the outside. And they're like stitched on there on both sides and the center part I don't know if it's imitation leather or whatnot but it just breaks and this is I this is what I have to deal with all the time and it sucks but the belts only cost ten dollars a piece so uh, yeah I mean that's where our economy is going cheap labor um, yeah let's see here China made in China the previous one I thought this thing was going to be tough, but it was the weakest out of the bunch that I ever had. The most shittiest one I ever had. But now, hopefully, I got the decent one. And um, I bought people's comments the other day on the, on the, on the, on the lawnmower engines, snowblower engines. Them companies going to Chinese brands. Uh, yeah, cheap labor. It's just like Schwinn. I mean, Schwinn bicycles used, bicycles used to be, used to be made in Chicago, and after many years, they were bought out a couple times, and now it's just a name. It, it's it, it's a good name put on a shitty bicycle that's made by a shitty bicycle company, and it ain't Huffy either. It's called Pacific Bicycles, and yeah, hopefully this belt will last me a long time. I don't think it will last as long as the one I had in high school, but it will last, I think. It looks pretty te flexible, and it seems pretty thick. And that concludes this video, and I sure hope you enjoyed it. Bye.